like above, we have alternate angles, which means we're on opposite sides of our transversal. But now we have exterior angles, meaning our angles are going to lie outside of that space between L and M. For example, angle 1 and angle 8 are alternate exterior angles. So are angle 2 and angle 7. Let's look at our last pair now. And I erase my transversal again. Nope, we want red. There we go. In our last pair, we have consecutive interior angles. Consecutive means that we are on the same side of the transversal. And interior tells us that we are back in between lines L and M. For example, angle 4 and angle 6 are examples of a consecutive interior angles. Can you find the other pair of consecutive interior angles? Hopefully you said angle 3 and angle 5. These four special pairs of angles, we're going to be doing a lot of work with them. Be very familiar with their names and what they mean. Again, if you just look at the naming, it should help make sense. Corresponding angles mean that the angles have the same relative position at points of intersection. They correspond to the same positions. Alternate interior angles mean we are on alternate sides of the transversal and we are in between the two lines. Alternate exterior, again alternate side of the transversal, but we're on the outside of the two lines. And consecutive interior angles mean same side of the transversal and in between the two lines. Let's look at an example. In the diagram below, identify all pairs of angles of the given type. Take a moment, pause your video, resume when you're ready to see the solution. All right, for corresponding, we have angle one and angle five also angle 2 and angle 6, angle 3 and angle 7, and then angle 4 and angle 8. Alternate interior angles, we have angle 2 and angle 7, as well as angle 4 and angle 5. Alternate exterior, we have angle 1 and angle 8, as well as angle 3 and angle 6. And then for consecutive interior, angle 2 and angle 5, as well as angle 4 and angle 7. This brings us to your homework example. Answer the following questions based on the diagram below. I want you to classify each angle pair that you are given as corresponding, alternate interior, alternate exterior, consecutive interior, or none of the above. Here's your diagram, and here are the seven pairs of angles that you need to classify. Do these in your notes, review the videos if you need to, and we'll talk about it first thing in class tomorrow.